Well, last night we got the MAPS reunion we've all been waiting for. And it wasn't long before things turned into chaos after one bride had a kind of regretful slip up. Taylor, how would you describe your relationship with Cam? I really like Cam as a friend. We get along really, really well. Yeah, there's not much to it. Like, he's up in Darwin, I'm down in Tassie. It hasn't been explored yet. Not that it is going to be explored. <laughs> no. I just, it, it, words are important, aren't Dig they? Dig up. <laughs> Dig up. And one of the couples on that couch, that hot couch, was Melinda and Leighton. They join us live from Brizzy. Hi, guys. Morning, guys. Um, Hi, guys. how are you? All looks well in your world. We're going to get to that in a moment. But that was a big shock for the group, wasn't it? Talk us through that moment. What did, what did you think about what Taylor said and, and her feelings towards Cam? Is there something there? Yeah, I mean, you know, at the dinner party, we were led to believe that there wasn't really much going on, just some mates, you know. Um, but then at the reunion, it was kind of like that little slip up, I guess, said it all. I don't know. I think maybe there was something there all along and I think maybe they're going to explore something, but who knows? She doesn't have a very good poker face, does she? No, no I mean... I'm all in. <laughs> uh, Leighton, Dan also got quite a grilling for his behaviour. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that was too much? Oh, man, I, I got roasted every time I was on the couch by John just for not being emotional enough. So I think that <laughs> I think all the blokes probably needed to be held account. I mean, that's the job of the experts, ultimately, is to help you be a better partner. And so if I'm getting roasted for not being emotional enough, I think the other boys need to be roasted for the stuff they're doing too, for sure. So do you think you're more emotional now and that you've learnt to, to express your emotions better because of this experiment? What do you think, babe? <laughs> no, 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 Definitely. I'm asking you, do not, do not divert. Do not divert. But this isn't the boardroom, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. What was the question again? <laughs> uh, my question is, how are you going dealing with and verbalising your emotions? Uh, much better. Much better. Yeah. Mel, what do you think? I think, sorry, I, I think Leighton's come a long way. Good. I'm better at writing it down. So when we have things like Valentine's Day, <laughs> Easter. He writes me letters. Like, yeah, that's Aww. what I'm really good. Yeah. But that's they are cute. romantic. And they're long. They're like two pages. Well, oh, I mean, look, too much I'll emotion. show you guys later. Don't be proud. Too much don't be super emotion. proud. We, yeah. don't, we don't need to be yeah, body little... language <laughs> experts to see that things are good with you two, right? Yeah, you guys So fine. clearly you have no regrets. <laughs> Tell us about yeah. how you're feeling now, the yeah. experiment over, and having watched the full season, you clearly have no regrets, right? Mm. <laughs> I mean, I think there's always regrets when you look back on it and you see some of the things like it might just be a simple argument or, you know, the way in which you acted in a certain situation. But I feel like ultimately that's the journey that we needed to go on. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I, I like, I look back and I don't really have regrets. I yeah. feel like I gave it 110%. I think we both did. Mm -hmm. We put everything on the line um, and I, I'm content. Like there's nothing mm -hmm. I could have done better at the time mm -hmm. and I'm happy with the, the outcome. So I think the risk is worth the reward and yeah. Yeah, no regrets. I, I like what you're saying, though, Leighton, and I'm not, to trying to, I'm not trying to deflect on what you're saying at all. I, th I actually think what you're saying is interesting because I, I hear what Mel's saying as well, but you're saying, no, I, I, I want to improve my behaviour. You're, you're dealing with that accountability in real time. I think that's, that's really cool that you're doing that. That's an important yeah. lesson. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it's funny because I remember having lunch midway with my sister. This is during filming because on weekends, every now and then, you'd get to go out and, and see other people and... I remember sitting down with my sister and saying, hey, I keep having this conversation with John on the couch and he keeps saying to me, you're speaking like you're in a boardroom. My sister goes, yeah, sometimes I don't know if Leighton's, which Leighton's going to show up, boardroom Leighton or normal Leighton. I'm like, what? So it's like when there's smoke, there's fire. I think when people keep sort of saying the same sort of thing, you, you've got to take note of that and take account of it. And mm. that was something that, you know, I sort of heard a bit, so I had to work on. Good on you. Well, yeah. that's all part of the experiment. It's all about the growth that comes with it. Um, yeah. Now... Yeah. Often, with maths, the post-show goss is as hot as the dinner parties. And I've got to ask about some images God. I saw of Evelyn and Duncan on a dance floor. <laughs> it was pretty uh. spicy. <gasps> what do you know? Are they an item? <laughs> What's the deal? Sip, sip, guys. Let's find out. <laughs> 
I feel like, geez, I love that, that that sort of reminded me of a Patrick Swayze 1980s movie. Don't you think? Sure. <laughs> okay, you're Shirt deflecting. Off, dancing in the club. Deflecting. He's what deflecting. Do you know? <laughs> what do you two know? I, th I think it's. I think, I mean, when you look at that, if I was looking at that, I'd probably be thinking, oh, okay, we've got a new item here. Okay. And that's all I'm going to say. That's all, all right. you're going to say. Yeah, I'll play the fifth. The proof is in the pudding. I played the fifth. Uh, well, I, I, congratulations, you two, on getting to this position and being as connected as you are, having a growth, accepting each other for what it is. It's been really great talking to you. And diplomatic about the other contestants, too. Very well diplomatic, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Well, we look forward to following your journey from here, too, because clearly it's not the end. Well done. Yeah, thanks, Thank guys. you. Appreciate thanks it. for having us. Pleasure. See you soon. Do you just, it's, been, it's been a good season, hasn't it? It's been a it? good season. Do you just think of Maroon 5 songs when you sit there and speak totally to Adam, Adam Levine? The whole time. Yeah. The whole time. <laughs> I'm just, good luck in Maroon 5. <laughs> hey there, today fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?